All right, two black, two stone, mega blast, Asiatic black in the field, man, we have the first night of Kwanzaa. 26, man, 20, 2019 right here in Jackson, Mississippi, we're going to do uh, maybe every minute percent, and I got my man, Dr. Umar Johnson in the building. Let's say some black power, please some black power. Hey, man, that was a nice little uh, message you passed on tonight, man. Appreciate that. How you feeling? How many times have you been in Mississippi? Oh, that's that thing? Yeah, I've been missing, I've been missing out. Okay. How you enjoy your baby stuff? Always enjoy Mississippi. Okay. All right, for the people out there that, for the people out there that missed uh, this fantastic event, man, give them a few words, man, or what you Well, if they missed it, the most important thing is for them to know that they need to be at that training on April the 18th in Ocean Spring, Mississippi. We're going to train every black parent and every black person who cares. You don't have to be a parent. Come on out, 12 hours intense, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Everything you need to know about saving your children in front of School to Prison Pipeline, Special Ed, ADHD. It's going to be a very intense educational law, process, policy, training. And you can register for it at DrUmarJohnson.com. It's only going to happen one time. Saturday, April 18th is Mississippi State Black Parent Know Your Rights Store. Make sure you be there. But with regard to the night, I never know what I'm going to say, Bob, but the spirit just put it on me. You never, right, I never right. know. You know. I don't write my speeches. They come from the soul. Right. So there's always a couple of ideas you want to hit on, mm -hmm. but spirit always gives me the message. Right. But I always try to do a buffet. I try to do a little economics, a little black family, a little education, a little politics, a little spirituality, because you never know who needs what in your audience. Right. Some people need to hear about the kids. Some people need to hear about spirit. Some people need to hear about politics, economics. Uh, so I try to give a buffet so everybody can go home with a little bit of something to make stomach. What's the most important to you? Right Education and economics. Okay, why then? Because if we cannot economically empower black people, they'll never be loyal to us. Okay. We'll be dealing with coons from now to the end of time. Right. So we got to get our economics together and education, we got to get the mind together. Mm -hmm. Education prepares this generation's children to take over leadership of next generation. Okay. Right? So you got to get that mind right, that's education, and you got to get that money right, that's economics. Okay, now for the people that heard this message, man, and still don't feel inspired enough to go forth and get knowledge, what, what would you say to those people? You know, you know, the, the, the spirit is, is, is broken, you know, it, it's broken all the way down. I heard you speak on this tonight. If they want to repair themselves spiritually and psychologically, they can. You it comes so. down to right. desire. I'm a therapist. Right. Okay. So when somebody comes to therapy, the first thing you got to find out is how serious are they mm -hmm. about overcoming that depression, that anxiety, that borderline, that bipolar, that uh, low self-esteem. Do you want to be free? Right. If you want to be free, we can get you there, but you got to want it. Right. Because there's no solution without your participation. So do you feel like most of us have excuses? Or... A lot of excuses. Okay. We don't want to make black liberation our priority. Okay. Islam is our priority. Christianity is our priority. Our fraternity, our lodge, our profession, you know, is our priority. But black liberation is not our priority. Okay, and for the ones that don't want it. You get the hell out of the way. Be honest enough. <laughs> Here's my thing. Be honest enough to admit uh, right, you don't care that about <laughs> black folks and get out our way. See, I don't mind if you don't want to help us as right. long as you ain't blocking the work. Right. But when you get in the work acting like you really care and all you do is sabotage progress, that's something we don't need. Get your ass out the way. We understand everybody's not going along for the liberation struggle. We have a lot of psychological casualties. You're like in a war, you have physical casualties, loss of life. We have psychological casualties, loss of mind. And if you're a psychological casualty, get out the war. Right. If you're mentally dead, there's no way you can bring us back to life. Exactly. If you are dealing with someone in your family that you dearly dear care about, how, how far should you take it? A Be lot of patient. Us, uh, okay. You gotta bring them along slowly. We try to jumpstart people into consciousness. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You gotta spoon feed them. If you try to jumpstart them, you're gonna lose them. They're gonna turn your back, their backs on you, especially if they're coming out the church or the mosque, because you're indoctrinated in the church and the mosque to turn off anybody who doesn't believe the way you believe. You're taught that. So if you come at a Christian heart, they're gonna shut you out. Right. You go at a Muslim heart, they're gonna shut you out. Don't do that. You got to spin food them. You gotta give a baby breast milk before you can give them solids. And we try to give them solids before we give them breast milk. So I'm very patient with Negroes. I just give them a little bit, a little bit. A little, and then I bring them along slowly. Right. Why was the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, leader of the largest black organization in modern history? One reason and one reason only. He didn't put a religion on his movement and he didn't condemn anybody else's faith. Okay. He's the only leader who did that. Everybody after Garvey either gave you a religion 
or they condemned other people's faith. Garvey didn't either. He said, this is a this this organization exists for nation building. This is for African people. This is not about your religion. And that's why Garvey was the most successful. He tolerated your religion, but he focused on black consciousness. All right. For the intellectual masturbators that you spoke on, that's in the uh, YouTube on, yeah, the media. Black consciousness, for the, kind of the monetary value and all of that. Yeah, all about money. How, do you, how, do you take, how, do you, how serious do you take that in there? I don't take them what seriously at all. 99% of all black scholars in America are phonies. 99.9% .9 of all popular black conscious personalities on YouTube are absolute phonies. I can say that because I've worked with nearly every last one and most of them are about money, status, coochie, uh, grants, uh, running for office, being known, being famous. They're not about liberation work. Okay. And I can prove that real quickly. Go to any one of them and ask them, what institution are you presently trying to build for black people? Because you can only change our situation by creating systems. Exactly. None of them. I'm the only one I know who's purchased an institution, trying to build an institution. You're only going to help us if you're institutionalizing the needs that we have. None of them are trying to build anything for our people. Exactly. So if you're not replacing the white man's infrastructure with a black liberation infrastructure, you're useless. Okay. It don't matter how many videos you got, how many classes you taught, how many books you wrote, how many documentaries you produced. What institution are you building for black folks? Period. And if they're not building any institutions, they're a waste of our time. Cool. I just wanted to get a few, few words from you. Y'all respect what this man is doing. Look forward to the school coming up. And donate. Uh, right. And get on right, your cash and app. Cash.me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Again, get on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Or mail them in. P.O. Box 9634. Wilmington, Delaware. 19809. April 18th. Ocean Spring, Mississippi. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's a racist calendar. One and done. <laughs> it's the only day I will be training black Mississippi. Go to my website, drumarjohnson.com, and register. I'll see y'all in, in, in four months. Too black, too black, too strong, too strong.